No. No, I don't think they have it as hard as we do. I think that all those who like believe in a higher being or almighty are always giving more trouble than those who don't. They're always like, oh, you believe in something. How close-minded are you? And, 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 and you can't think outside the box. And, and, and if you're the type of person who says that to somebody who believes in a higher being or a, or a greater power, then, then I have a bone to pick with you because um, the fact that you w that they believe in something they cannot see, smell, or touch, and yet they, they believe it's true, be they, they, he's there or he's real because of, of all the signs they see. Like, for example, oh, I wonder how the sky holds itself up there without any poles that we can see. Or, um, strings on the other side. Or, how brilliant is saliva? Um, without it, we would not be able to exist. Surely only the greatest of all could have thought of that and brought it into existence. Uh, I think this is very much the definition of thinking outside a box, whereas not being able to believe in something because you cannot perceive it, I think is, is thinking inside a very small box. A matchbox. Or if there's something smaller than a matchbox, then maybe that box. Is there such a thing as an ant box? Because I think that would be like a really tiny box. It would be just like, it could contain one ant. And if you give somebody a gift and it was that small, they would take it and they'd be like, what a cheap cake. And they'd say, that's so tiny. And you say, oh, but open it. You have to know what's inside. And, oh, okay. it's empty. Oh, it crawled out. Um, oh my God, where was that? All right. Uh, yeah, so, okay, maybe you don't think that um, those who believe in, in a higher power or being are, you know, close-minded or thinking outside the box, but, or that they don't think outside the box, but um, you think... But you say things like, look, if God existed, why is there such war and terror and horror and why do people kill other people? And uh, I don't believe in God. Um, I believe in, in human and, and mankind and what they can do. Um, I, don't, I don't think that God's to blame here. I mean, imagine if you, you um, have, have a child and, and you teach them right from wrong and you raise them to the best of your capabilities and then 40 years down the road you're sitting in your living room watching TV or the news eating prunes, as, as many people do. I do that. I don't know. I eat prunes, I like them. Anyway, as you, as you watch TV, um, and, uh, and there's a news flash, and they're like, oh, finally we've caught the man who's, or the person who's been uh, committing these um, uh, heinous murders for the past 20 years, and you're like, oh my god, thank god, they have, they have caught him, and then they're like, dun dun dun, it is your child, and your child shows up on the screen. Are you to blame? I don't think so. I don't think it's your fault. I think that if you taught this child right from wrong, um, don't steal, um, uh, don't uh, kick the neighbor's dog, uh, don't stick gum in other children's hair, don't flipping kill anyone. It's probably a big one that you told them. Um, just leave everybody be as they are until they are no longer being. If they are breathing, they're good. Um, and if they're not breathing, then that's it. They stop breathing. Unless unless they're choking and you know how to do the uh, maneuver, then do it. But if you don't, don't administer it because that's like cause for suing. Um, oh my god, where was that? Yeah, so anyway, okay, so. Are you to blame for this, 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 this child of yours? No, I think they chose their own path. Their own path. You gave them all the tools, the right from wrong. Hopefully you were one of the greater parents on this planet. And this is the path they chose. So when there's a whole lot of like horror and destruction, I think lose faith in mankind, not in their creator. Um, uh, we are the cause of like just millions of nations being murdered and killed. And not me personally, I haven't caused anyone's death yet. Uh, I'm not planning it, I just mean, I have not and I, and I don't ever want to be. But um, we, we are the ones, we are just deceitful and greedy and we want everything and, and we are to blame. That, that, that is, if you're going to lose faith in anyone, mankind is the person you should be pissed off with. Um, at least that's how I see it. Um, yeah, so, I, I don't know, this, this is just, okay. anyway, um, what else, yeah. Also, this, 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 this deal that, like, um, that, you know, there was this, like, uh, burst of energy and light, and it had expanded and exploded until it turned into, into, into the heavens and the earth. And, well, not the heavens, unless you mean the sky, because you guys don't believe in heaven and hell. But, I don't know, I, I've never, ever heard of any kind of explosion that happened following it. Have you ever heard, like, something excellent came from it? Um, okay, well, unless you're thinking of, like, chemistry, and then there's, like, kind of experiments that's different. But still, it's not, it's not like, okay, anyway, so... Um, you've never heard that, oh, there was a massive explosion and now we have furry little llamas, llama sheep, because llamas and sheep made it and now there are these furry, furrier, fluffier animals. No, it doesn't have that. It's always pink mist and rubble and ruin and destruction comes from an explosion. I don't think something so, so, so intricate and, 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 and beautiful could have come from, um, from an explosion um, or a combustion of light that expanded into Earth. 
Uh, because, uh, I mean, you might think, oh, the world isn't beautiful. I think it is. I think the most dis the ugliest thing on this planet is, is mankind. Um, be, uh, yeah, humans, we, we are the, we're just rotten and we're the ones who have, you know, who have made uh, everything. Everything was good until we came along. <laughs> and we were just like, oh, we must make it worse <laughs> and, or, or ruin it. We just couldn't, couldn't have it as it was. And I, I don't think it's, it's a bad thing or a negative thing to think, to believe in like an afterlife. Like the fact that, you know, there's heaven and hell and something to look forward to. <laughs> no one's looking forward to hell. <laughs> Unless, you know, you're a masochist. But um, <laughs> heaven, you know, be good, have good intentions, do good uh, to yourself. Um, uh, and, and you have something to look forward to. It's kind of like a job. If you have like a horrible, rotten, disgusting job and you just do it just because oh, I need the money, I need to eat this weekend. And so that's why you have have um, a, a job. You always have like the weekend to look forward to while you sit on your couch, watch TV, eating prunes. <laughs> People do that. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, uh, where was I? Yeah. Just think, I think of it like that. Like no matter how horrible this life is or, or what, what, hardship I come I, come, I I have to endure or come by there's there's something you know positive to look forward to rather than just think well what happens is that your your, your um, pulse slows until your heart stops and then your brain shuts down and then so does all your other organs and then we just put you in the dirt and then you're um, you become lunch dinner and supper or, or breakfast because supper and dinner are the same thing in different areas um, anyway so you <laughs> you become food for for worms I think that it's it's just it's just something you know nice to look forward to and I don't think that's a bad thing and I, and I think anything you want in life like just think of anything you have ever wanted it has never come easy so when you think of like God there are so many rules in religion and there's so many things we have to do to please our Lord and you know yeah we have to do this anything you want if you want and if you want to be, have a successful career you have to work and you have to please your professors and write good papers so that they will accept them and give you a good mark and then you know so you can move on and become a clown. <laughs> I don't know whatever your career is. Yeah, anyway, uh, on this topic, I was talking to like a great, 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 like a relative of mine. She's like my great, 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 seven more greats on top of that. Super califragile is a good great grandmother. And um, naturally, there's like a barrier when we, we talk, um, because as, as you would from someone who's that ancient. Um, but basically, it's because she speaks ape, and I don't. I have I don't speak ape. Um, uh, and so it was basically a lot of hello, and she was like, ooh, 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 ooh. And I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What are you trying to say? And she said, ooh, ee, ah. Okay, if you, if you say it really slow and really loud, then I will, and ooh, and no. I'm sorry, I do not think we evolved from monkeys. I think we are two diff different species. We were created, yes, we have some things in common. We have hands and maybe ears and, and I don't know what else. I think monkeys are really cute. But I don't think we evolved from them. I don't think that, I don't know. I don't know why. I just, I don't, I don't think that, that we used to. And now we, <laughs> I, I think it, and then what about monkeys now? Then I think of the monkeys now. I've heard that like monkeys lived and died monkeys. They didn't turn into humans. And so why aren't they evolving? I mean, if the, the previous monkeys evolved, then why don't these ones evolve into, into monkeys? I'm really not educated on this topic. I probably shouldn't have, you know, made this rant. But I, I have friends and they're atheists and, and, and we always get into it. And so I was like, oh, I have a few bones to pick with you. <laughs> Whatever bone picking is. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, so monkeys. I don't think we evolved from them. Um, I think we have similarities between them. And yes, that's great. And maybe we can learn to communicate with them all that means but I don't think we evolved from them um, but uh, like do you think that if, if we did like did you think different like races of humans evolved from different species of, of monkey like did did ginger people evolve from orangutans that is the question 